Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I am going to be reviewing and uh something that many don't like. I like it kind of. I kinda like it. Um that is the Playmates Godzilla eleven inch rigger. And before I get into that, uh they just released a Godzilla singular point trailer. I think it looks good. I think Godzilla's a fish now from one of the scenes I saw. Uh, uh, if you guys want me to do a reaction, please tell me so. But it, it does look good, and I cannot... Spoilers, if you haven't seen the trailer, but I don't think it's pretty much spoilers. Gabra is in it. That's right, Gabra's in it. I cannot believe it. Like, I already said in my Godzilla's Revenge video, like, a while back, that I don't think Gabra's, like, the... Like, the worst, worst monster. I think it could, like, go to the giant condor or the mega nulons in the Rodan movie. But it's not a, it's, he's not a, like, the pure trash. I kind of like it. I just think they executed him in a wrong way, but that's not what I'm here for today. I am here for the Playmates figure, and I'm going to get into that right This is a what? Like, I'm pretty sure an 11 inch figure. So, I'm gonna have. I'm like, right now, I'm super backed up. I have to stretch my arms out just to, like, get the box alone. And that's not even the figure. So, like, I don't know if you can see it, but I can, I can barely stretch out. Just barely stretch out. Anyway. Um, there's the box. It actually pretty much looks the same. Like, hold on. Let me compare it here. It looks the same as this one, only bigger, much fiercer, and stronger. And it doesn't have a little image. And um, if you take a look at the back, it tells you all the figures. On the back, actually, I don't want to reveal it yet. Hold on. But you'll see the difference. I guess I could set it off over here to the side. Anyway, coming back over here, I love this like humongous drawing of the, of the Playmates image. I... I just enjoy it. I love seeing Kong about to punch Godzilla. I see Godzilla about to guard it. I cannot wait for it. And we're getting Godzilla singular point. Anyway, going back to the box. We see we have Monster vs. Giant Godzilla. We see a few buildings. I'm pretty sure from Honolulu or the other places they're going to take fights in. You can see here. Something interesting uh, I took notice of here. Maybe it's nothing, but I don't know if you guys can see it. There's some very, there's like a, uh, hold on, I don't, hold on, like, I don't know if you see it right there. There's a little antenna. Either it's an antenna or it's just the paint job. But I thought it looked interesting. I don't know. The building's over here. And then we got the logo. I took them out of the box. You have to unopen it and open it. You have to bring out the box. You have to pull these apart. Not with your hands, so if you need scissors, so ask your parents if they can help you with that. Going over here, we have Giant Godzilla. At the bottom, it says the same, and it actually gives you the instructions, like the like the other one. You can see here, it tells you the instructions, the assembly. So you guys know this is Kong, Playmates. You see Godzilla, you see Playmates, and here is the big reveal. The image that was revealed. It's pretty dang awesome. I love it to the max. It's awesome. I cannot believe it. <sighs> anyway, uh, actually, Kong and Godzilla, I just wanted to say something quick about this image. Kong's design here is from 2017. He doesn't have the beard. He's not as muscular as from we, what we have seen. And as for Godzilla over here, the spines are a little pudgier. Like, especially it's noticeable here. If you take a look at 2019's, or at least this piece right here, this piece, and this is a little bent forward. I don't know if that's just me. And you can see some scars on Godzilla, not any on Kong. And then you can see they're both roaring at each other. Roar. And you can see they're on the boat. Actually, I've actually, I think I've finished on the boat now. So I want to get that out. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm, still, um, I'm still working on that, so. I actually got it over here. I just gotta find out a way I'm gonna set up the plot. Anyway, here it reads, right here. Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Hmm. That's gotta be very interesting. 
It was already addressed in uh, Kong Skull Island that there was a hollow earth, but never had we seen any actual, I guess you could say, what, physical evidence? But this image is pretty cool, and I love how it's reddish, then orangish, yellowish, orange, yellow, back to orange, then it takes different color tones. It's only red on this side, but hey, that's not, that's not a problem. It's going to be interesting, because here they're kind of yellowish, both and the boat. So maybe it's the afternoon, or like, nighttime, or at least sunshine, you know? But yeah, the same thing is so the same thing goes for the little boxes, except they show the figure, they tell you over here how many you can collect, Nozuki, and Kong with Fighter Jet is not yet available, and you can see even more images, and it tells you, I want to say the same thing over here, and it actually tells you a little bio of the figure or character that you're getting, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you know what, actually, we can, like, hold on. I don't know if the camera can see. But we're gonna put it, like, over here. Now, let's get into the figure itself, Godzilla. Here he is. Oops, I put, I put him in the wrong spot. I'm not, I don't look too much at the camera, so I don't know if I'm actually putting him in the right place. Uh, I think I have him right now. I think I have him right. So here he is. Here is Godzilla. I think it's a pretty great mold, and some are saying Jack's was the one they ripped it off of and I know I I had the figure last year I saw it in the Walmart physically and I can still remember that and I can confirm it is not especially from the hands the toes the tail shape uh not the spines um if you've seen other reviewers I don't have the actual figure but you can see the spines up here are way different than the other figure the head is much smaller the figure itself this one is much smaller and it has more paint applications which I will get into in a bit Anyway, let me just take a little spin here. Uh, you can't see his head, can you? Hold on. I'm trying to, like, keep him low. This is my first, like, 11-inch figure review. I've done 6-inch. Not hard at all. This is a little harder because my camera is small. And I'm, I'm not going to show, but I do have it on top. And... Normally, it would be on ground floor right now, but, you know, it's a huge figure. Uh, and I got other big figures I'm going to be reviewing. And I'm going to be doing, I guess you could say, my own figure fight. I'm not trying to rip it off of, you know, uh, Steven. And I just, I, I want to do these two. I have them right here. I want to get into them, show the difference. Because there's really a huge difference between Playmates and uh, Bandai. Some do it better, some do it worse. It's a 50-50. We got to give it to both of them. Anyway, going into articulation, it definitely has more than the jacks. Uh, but again, I don't have the figure, but I have seen how the figure is. And I did, again, have it in the Walmart. And unfortunately, I didn't pick it up. And this one looked good. Anyway, here, you can see both the hands move. But they don't move too much to the point where they'll swivel back all the way. It's just going to be like a swivel here. Like a little movement here, as you can see. And you can see that there is a piece that is just uh, unsculpted, I guess you could say. Unsculpted? Yeah, I guess I guess you could say that. And then, actually, something the jacks didn't do is the little hands move. So that is pretty cool. That is so awesome. I love the rotation. It feels, it feels genuinely nice, not going to lie. As for the legs, they do move, but they, just like the, well, you know what, I should probably get it out now. I should have gotten it out earlier. That I do have the small uh, Playmates, it's not the same color, but it's the same thing. Like, you see how his legs are posed in a way that he's, like, doing a little walking animation? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get over here. Okay, he's staying still, right? Yeah, he's staying still. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. And here at the bottom, not just the feet move, and it's also in the walking position. You can see here, the feet themselves move. You can twist them back, but I prefer not to. And then here's the tail, which moves only this way. It doesn't move any other way. And that is that. And this is one of those figures that, <sighs> that unfortunately does do the rest here. It just doesn't finish the job at the tail. That's not, that's not an excuse, but you know what? I'm going to let it pass. Just because I feel like if Jax were to do the same thing, and they did with their little um, Godzilla, they didn't quite finish the tail, so 
I can't blame them. I uh, I could say the same to Bandai, but I'm actually gonna have to look into that. Anyway, as for the paint applications, they are awesome. However, this is where we start getting into our problems, and it's not just with Kong. It's with Godzilla. It's not just with Godzilla. It's with both. So I'm gonna put it in very short words here. I was about to like give a whole explanation. Godzilla's too blue. Kong's too black. I couldn't have said that better. Anyway, year is like a grayish musky blue. Not quite like the image described it. Not quite like the other figure described it. But if you do look at the promotional art, instead of the black over there, they do have him as blue. And they do have Kong a little more blackish than last time. Not full black like the figure, but somewhat black. Kind of like the uh, other Playmates Kong. Let me get that out. Ugh, you are... I love Kong. Anyway, here he is. Kind of like a... If you have the figure, you can tell it's much darker than the Kong that we did have in 2017. And the, I guess you could say that's the problem, but I kind of like the blue just because it differentiates itself from the past Godzilla. So it's kind of like bluish, like KOTM. And I honestly like that. And it's not just blue. Unlike Jax, they actually did decide to paint the nails. So let me get that straight up. I'm Travis Scott. Straight up. Anyway, you can see the nails. They are grayish, brownish, tannish, I guess you could say. They are almost that color. And if you can tell, I think my lighting shows it very well here. You can tell there's a bit of shading of black. Okay, it's noticeable there. There you go. Blackish. It's not noticeable anywhere else other than the the body. That it's blackish. Oh, oh, you can see here. You can see here. And of course, there's the nine screw holes. Uh, just don't put it this way if you don't like it, or you could put it the other way, whichever way you would like. The details on this, the arms, body, and the head especially are great detail. P parts like the bottom of the leg are not too great, but you look at the inside and you say, "Okay, that's amazing." The chest doesn't pop out as much as other figures that I have, so. There's something that makes it different. It's um, a different mold. You can see he kind of looks straight up. What's with me using straight up? Anyway, you can see there's the... Oops. I'm going to need both hands. You can see that the teeth are painted individually. And he has a hole up there. I have no idea why. The tongue is painted. His eyes are painted orange. And from what I know, that's not supposed to be that. But you know what? I'm... I'll let it pass. It looks reptilian. And you can see the spines are the same color as the body, except with bluish tints. And it actually looks like they're lighting up, kind of. Like, if you can see that. It looks very cool. And they are bendy. And unfortunately, the two up here are warped. But, uh... I ignore it. Pro it probably makes the figure better. In fact, he is actually... Act <clears throat> Damn it. Uh, he is actually the same mold, I guess you could say it's a small one. The only difference is how the arms were made. Definitely the face. And that's it, really. And one last thing before I move on. That is that the tail I enjoy. I like how, the, how they uh, sculpted the spines. That is a really amazing detail. It ends bluntly like the original Godzilla. And it's not just straight like the jacks. It's kind of curved. It's kind of bent. Almost as if his tail was dragging along as he's walking or swimming. Actually, hold on. You can make it look like he's swimming. Hold on. Kind of? Like, kind of? Hold on. Like, you could use this for an animation. He looks kind of like he's swimming, but, um... Some don't decide to do that, and honestly, I can agree with that. Godzilla's sometimes better off when he is standing, so... I'll give it to them, though. Now let's get into some figure comparisons. Now, I am going to compare them to other huge figures that you may have in your collection. We have the NECA 2014 Roaring Godzilla. Uh, hold on. He is actually bigger than the Playmates one, which I guess would be no surprise. And, obviously, more detail. He more black. <laughs> obviously. Um, but yeah, here's the side comparison. He is just a little taller. And this is just a little smaller. Give us one roar. Oh, you magnificent kaiju. 
Whoever gets tired of your roars, am I right, people? He is so beautiful. Anyway, here we have Playmates Final Wars, which I think... What the... Okay, I just caught that on recording. For some reason, my neck of 2014 likes to roar on his own. <laughs> I have no idea why. I remember this one time we were trying to sleep. He kept roaring and roaring. And they thought I had him with me. And I accidentally kept pressing it. Uh, but he was over there in the corner alone. So we have no idea how that happened. But I just caught it on footage. It's a natural possession, people. It's a ghost. I'm joking. It's not a ghost. They are kind of the same size. Final Wars is just a centimeter smaller. If you would like. Yeah, I guess you would say that. Our next is the Bandai Final Wars. I may or may not have spoiled it, but here it is. He's pretty much smaller. More smaller than the Playmates. And definitely smaller than the uh, 2019 or 2020 or 2021 GBK. Next to Kong 2017. Oh my god, they scale so perfectly. And I'm going to get into a review with him too. I can't wait to do this. Uh, but there's Kong. One of the two Kong toys I have. And then, I should also review this one, Lizzie from Rampage. Lizzie is obviously all the way at the bottom, but putting her on her tail, she stands way taller than Godzilla. I gotta get into that movie review. I actually have the movie of Rampage, and I hope they make a movie on Primal Rage, which is another game. I used to play Rampage a lot, along with the PS2 Godzilla, so I hope I can get into a Rampage review. I'm not gonna lie, this is off topic, but the Rampage scene with the Willis Tower as they're bringing it down, not gonna lie, but those are the best effects I've ever seen, and I'd go as far as to say they're one of the best, even competing against the MonsterVerse. That scene, not gonna lie, but at least they had the bravery of attacking Chicago, just because not many movies do that, but you know what? That's on them, and they did very good. Anyway, this figure, from what I see, is 11 inches. We're just going to compare him here. Perfect. 11 inches right there. Converting to centimeters. 27 to 28 almost. 27, I think. But from my perspective, it looks like 28. But it doesn't look like it too much. Anyway, now that we have gone over that, do I recommend this figure? Alright, I'm going to do a yes or no, and I'm going to say, well, what? I'm going to say yes, okay? And here's my reason why. $20. From what I heard, the Jax was 40 in-store, like in-store, in-store. So if you missed out, you can get this guy. He's not bad at all. He's got great painting. I think the blue should be a little darker, and then he'd look great. But from here, it doesn't look too bad. And he's a great scaling size. And I actually have a Kiryu and then a Kong that I can put him next to, which is really awesome. So that's pretty cool. But I do say the articulation is farewell. The painting could be anything you'd want. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. You don't like the lightish. So the painting is up to you guys whether you like it. I like the spines, but the body, eh, it's 50-50. It's or, you know what, it's like 5 out of 10. There you go, there you go, I said it. The articulation is good. Painting, again, is whatever it is up to you. The scaling is perfect. I'm pretty sure the Kong, the other Kong, not, the, not this one, the other Kong, fits well with him. But I like this Kong more than that, more than the other one. I think this one is perfect for him. I think that's what it's all about. They're gonna fight. I, I should make like a giant. <laughs> okay, that'd be huge though. I need a huge camera. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's the review. This figure is whatever it is up to you. If you guys want to get it, you can get it. If you don't want to get it, then don't get it. But honestly, I don't think it's the worst of the figures. Like, like if you compare this to every single like toy in the world, it's not the worst. And I can see why it was the bright colors. It attracts children. Especially for newcomers or oldcomers who are young. So I can kind of see that. I can see that already 
coming out. So anyway, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next time because I definitely got more. And see you all next time. Bye-bye. Have a great day. I'm blue, da ba dee ba dee and I'm a dee da ba dee